After the successful completion of the longest pipe jacked sea outfall in the Middle East, we commenced works on the 309 meters diffuser. The diffuser consists of HDPE pipe, which is supplied by a factory located in Saudi Arabia, and 84 duckbill valves, which are supplied from Canada. Thanks to the successful cooperation between Ministry of Public Works and KIPIC, we are allowed to utilize jetty located near the Alzur power station. The 2.2 meter internal diameter HDP pipes were delivered in 10 meter long sections. Once the pipes were installed on the rails, we used a butt fusion machine to weld each segment of the pipe together and gradually pushed it towards the sea. Uh, we kept on repeating the process until the whole of the diffuser was welded, which totaled a length of 309 meters. Once we've welded the whole pipe then we put some temporary flanges on the top of the diffuser outlet ports and also on the two ends of the pipe to ensure that it was airtight prior to launching. So once the fabrication of the diffuser was completed on site we were ready to launch. total of three tugboats for the launching operation. This was led by our joint venture partner Al Hassane. The tugs were used for the later towing operation but they were also used for keeping the alignment of the pipe while launching into the sea. This is the first time in Kuwait a long sea outfall has ever been land launched. It will be towed 39 kilometers to the uh, position of the long sea outfall. 64 number concrete blocks were required to be fitted on the diffuser to assist with the sinking process and um, add permanent weight to the pipe. Um, these ballast blocks were loaded onto a cargo barge at the Kipik jetty and then they were transported to the offshore location um, ready for install installation on the diffuser. Our senior engineer, Ahmed Moheb, was responsible for the coordination and installation of the ballast blocks. This included loading of the C-frame, positioning the C-frame underneath the pipes, and installing the ballast blocks. This required careful coordination with the divers, who were then bolting the ballast blocks together before we removed the C-frame. Our teams work day and night to deliver the diffuser pipe on time.
After we'd installed the 64 number ballast blocks, it was then time to install the airbags. Once we'd installed all of these with straps, we then inflated the airbags prior to moving the diffuser into the correct position for sinking. Once the diffuser was moved into position, we then relocated the crane barge to be above the first jacking pipe of the Long Sea Outfall Tunnel. We used the crawler crane on the barge to install the stainless steel adapter to the first jacking pipe. Once the stainless steel adapter was fitted, we were then in a position to start the sinking process. We allowed the first 100 meters to sink, and then by regulating the air in the 510 airbags, we matched the profile of the pipe to the connection on the first jacking pipe, allowing the divers to bolt the connection. Once the connection was made, the divers then had to tighten the 43 number stainless steel bolts used to connect the HDP pipe to the stainless steel adapter. Once the connection was made and inspected by the divers, we could then complete the sinking process for the rest of the line. This allowed the full line to sink to its permanent location on the bottom of the seabed. The sinking of the uh, 309 meter long diffuser brings to an end the construction of the uh, Omolhaimen Emergency Sea Outfall. It is designed to serve more than 1.7 million people in Kuwait with a capacity of 500,000 cubic meters a day and a chance to extend to 700,000 cubic meters a day. The idea is to use 100% of the treated sewage effluent for irrigation purposes in Kuwait. The emergency sea outfall constructed by Al Hassanin and Joseph Gallagher provides the contingency for emergency outfall up to 1 million cubic meter treated water a day. The completion of the project has been a total success for the business, but it's only been possible by the competency and the exceptional work ethic of the people that we employ. We would like to congratulate Al Hassanain Joseph Gallagher for completing this remarkable project safely, in time and within the budget. As CEO of Joseph Gallagher and the joint venture, I would like to thank all our people for a job well done.
I would like to thank everybody that was involved in the project for their hard work and a job well done. I would like to congratulate everyone involved in the successful delivery. The completion of the diffuser installation sees the completion of the Ol Al Heyman Emergency C84 project. We would like to thank our client WTE and the ultimate client Ministry of Public Works, uh, Fishner, Moyers Engineers and HSBC bankers who really they gave us good support for financing this project. The contract was valued at $55 million and was carried out for WTE and the ultimate client, the Ministry of Public Works. And finally, we would like to thank our people at the site and backup offices from London and Bahrain for their sincere efforts and dedication in making the successful completion of the project possible.